Hello football coaches and football players, my name is Football Coach Allen and today I'm going to give you my top 5 flag pulling flag football drills. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to have player 4 and player 1 blue. They're going to be running up and they are going to touch those pylons. Next, player 4 is going to be popping back down and player 4 is going to then receive the football from the coach. Next, player four needs to try and beat player one somehow to try and get between these two pylons. Meanwhile, player one is going to try and pull both of player four's flags before he gets through those two pylons. This is a great drill to run to teach your team defense, but also to teach your team how to evade from getting your flags pulled. Also, receiving the football and running as fast as possible as, so as soon as you catch that ball he needs to run now in this next drill the second drill what we're going to have again is player four and player one they're going to be running and touching those two pylons now they're going to be running back down to both touch this pylon now it's totally up to you you can either have the coach pass to this player right here or you can leave the football right on top of that pylon or right next to the pylon and from there you wouldn't need to have a coach passing and then at that point whichever player gets to that pylon first gets that football and they need to run between those two pylons before this other player who is slower can pull their can pull their flags or if you wanted to make it a little bit more difficult for that faster player he needs to pass over Oops, one of those two pylons there. So for example, player four is faster, he gets to that pylon, now he needs to cross player one's path. Player one touches that pylon and now he has to chase him down to pull both of his flags before he passes those two pylons. It just adds a little bit more extra harder task for player one to be able to pull those flags. Now another drill that you can run is you can set up some pylons in a square and you can have four players without a football. What's going to happen here is they're going to try and take each other's flags. Each of these players is going to have two flags and they're going to try and pull the flags of either each other or the other team. So you can have it set up so that it's one against everybody or you can set it up almost like a team deathmatch if you mention that key name they will understand what you're talking about it's a call of duty shooting type game term and from there they could go blues against reds and then the winning team wins the losing team can do push-ups or something whatever you decide to do now personally this is a great little addition to that last drill i would actually recommend this being a totally separate drill and you could have it set up so that there's other pylons so there's three groups of players and with each group there being one player remaining. Once each player gets taken out of the game, there is now three players remaining, and if you have a multiple player team, you may have four or more players who can play defense. At this time, you can have a football at one of those with one of those players, and now you can go three on however many you have, so let's call it in this case five, and now you can go three on five. They can set up their quick play against these five players trying to pull their flags getting downfield. Now, a little bit of a tip. These players, you can explain this to them right away or not, it's totally up to you, but once they make their pass, obviously they can't pass the ball anymore, but they can still lateral back so they can get the ball back around downfield this is actually a drill that's used on a lot of rugby teams because that's how they pass is to pass back and to be able to get downfield with a really against a really good defensive team you're going to need to spread out and lateral that ball back to be able to swing the ball from one side of the field to the other now the fifth drill i'm going to show you is another fun drill that you can run and it's going to teach them obviously offensive running and evasion of trying to get the flags not pulled but also defensively trying to pull flags 
but a third thing is going to be their foot speed. So they're going to be running forwards, defensive sliding across, forwards, defensive slide across, forwards, defensive slide across, and then they're going to meet it, make it to the end. They're going to touch that whoops, touch that pylon. Meanwhile, player do, two doing the exact same thing. And then meanwhile, once they touch that pylon, player one, he's going to go and try and make it to the end between these, whoops, these two pylons here. He needs to run down before player two can chase him to steal his flags. I hope that these drills help your team win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you guys again in our next video.